Hey guys, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, putting out this quick video impromptu. I just got breaking news from autonews.com is reporting Toyota has announced it will replace all 100,000 engines in 2022-2023 Toyota Tundra and Lexus LX600 vehicles and model years, those model years and those vehicles. So all of them are getting replaced. Now that was based on a recall that came out last month they said they found engine debris in the engines causing it to spin the bearings. People have been speculating online whether we can do a full engine replacement or just replace the top of the engine. Nope, it is gonna be a full engine replacement and this is a big deal. Because each of these engines runs about $30,000. That's not my price. That's my information I get straight from the dealers who've sent me their slips of service that have the receipts of how much it takes to replace the engine. So you have 30,000 times 100,000 trucks and SUVs. Lots of money to fix this issue. Huge amounts of money. But they're standing behind their customers. They will have all new brand, en brand new engines in those trucks. Now, we don't have any details right now today on whether the hybrid would be included in this recall. It, people have been speculating about that for a while because the hybrid is built on the same engine as the Tundra. just has more of the hybrid powertrain to it, the, the battery. But it seems like the block's the same. We have no details on that. And we have no details on whether newer vehicles are going to have a recall on them. We've seen a few reports here and there with 2024 Tundras on different Facebook groups and forums of failing engines there. But the big news, like I said, right now is that Toyota is going to replace those, I'm sorry, just my arm here. Toyota is going to replace those 100,000 trucks and SUVs with brand new engines. Now they are going to give uh, owners a loaner vehicle. They estimate the repairs are going to take between 13 and 21 hours to replace. So you can probably get a loaner for a day or two when you drop your truck off and they're going to swap those engines out completely. I'm a little skeptical on how fast the engines get replaced. We've seen some technicians talk about it's, it's a big deal. Um, it takes a little longer. Now, keep in mind as well, to replace the engine, they're gonna take the cab off the body. Just don't freak out. Every brand does this. Ford's been doing it for years. Uh, every brand of truck is designed this way for the body to come off the frame. There's four or five bolts. It's, it's not as hard as the things you imagine. It makes getting in there a lot easier. They can swap that engine a lot faster, but you will be getting a new engine. Now, I didn't see any details on notice so far about whether they're gonna extend the warranty. They may just give you the, the five-year warranty on the new engine. I haven't seen anything like a 10-year like Hyundai's doing right now because they're having some engine issues as well. But I wanna get the details out to you guys right away as fast as I could. I'm here in Expel's headquarters, San Antonio. I got some cool videos got, coming for you guys from this trip here. But I just saw this breaking news and I thought I gotta get this video up. So that's what we have, we know today. We know that Toyota is going to replace all 100,000 of the 2022-2023 Toyota Tundra, that is the gas only, and Lexus LX600s from two different plants. They were built in uh, Japan and in America as well, in uh, San Antonio for the trucks, and then the plant was in Alabama, the engine plant, and castings were in Tennessee. So uh, you can do your own detective work and see if you can track down what the issue is, but it doesn't really matter because Toyota is standing behind their vehicles and they will take and go ahead and replace all of those uh, vehicles as far as those engines. So that's kind of the breaking news for you head right now. Um, I, I, again, that's all we know. I don't have any more details for you. I just have what they've announced. Uh, it sounds like owners will be notified later on this month through the app and they'll have the notifications saying they're bringing a truck in at some point. They're probably gonna make sure they have more supply of engines on hand so they can ship them to dealerships and get all your work lined up before you bring your truck in. But that's what we know today. I'll check it. So make sure you get the videos up on this channel. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. Or actually, I won't be able to because I'm doing this on my phone. So check out the website. <laughs> as always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.